for Jesus, you can do it better. If you are doing it for Jesus, you will not be seated doing it. You can stand up and do it. Give Jesus Christ a clap of praise. And make a shout of victory. Make a shout of victory. Make a shout of victory. I've been in Abuja for more than 10 years. When we were coming tonight, what came to my mind is, who is the person that discovered this place? Because I've never been here. And see people, you are really blessed. <laughs> hear this, your life can never be the same again. Take note of that. That's the summary of what is about to happen to you in two days. How did our team locate this place? It's a mystery. <laughs> mystery. And I mean mystery. You are really blessed. Just two days, Jehovah will change your life. You don't need two encounters with Jesus. One is enough. If it's Jesus, you, if it's any man you meet, nothing may happen. But if you meet Jesus, the son of the living God, the lion of the tribe of Judah, immortal, invisible, omnipotent, omniscience, the one who encountered that Ghanaian just now, and 13 years affliction, blasted, eliminated, terminated, eradicated every challenge you brought here today shall be terminated like that in a moment will you lift your hands to him and just bless the name of the lord do you know any names of god that you can call can you call 10 of them 10 of the names of god 10 10 you can call it in your language like that my brother from Fota region Call ten names of God. He is ready to attend to your matter today. Kabali aladosa liya lagadiza, hevarusa nagadusha. Will you lift your two hands above your head and call his name? Ten. Just count it at your fingertips. Mashata yalada barush katadiza, ele pariatal. Your life is about to change forever. Your destiny, your career, your business. Everything about your life is about to change forever. It's a night of change, a night of transformation. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your children. You are the mighty God. You are the mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty Hallelujah. 
Aleluia Aleluia Lift up your hand Aleluia Aleluia ah. Aleluia 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 To the King of Glory Aleluia Lion of Judah Aleluia Immortal Redeemer Alleluia Alleluia oh. Alleluia Immortal Father Alleluia Lion of Judah Alleluia ah. Alleluia Alle, 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 alle. Alleluia ah. Alleluia Lift up your hand. Alleluia. Baba Mima. Alleluia. So we lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. Grace, you are holy one. You walk upon the sea. You reign. You reign in majesty. You reign in majesty. Mighty God. Mighty God. Everything written about you. Everything written about you. Great you are, holy one. You walk upon the sea. You walk upon the sea. You raise the dead. You raise the majesty. You raise the majesty. Your hands above your head. You are the mighty God. You are the glorious God. You are the glorious God. You are the mighty You are the glory of God. You are the mighty God. You are the For you right now, hey, 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 
My father, my father, say my father, my father, say my father, my father. Can you shout it three times? Can you shout it three times? Brothers, can you shout it three times? If you are a brother. Again, brothers, can you shout it three times? Sisters, let's show them that we are more than brothers. Shout it three times. Again, sisters, three times. Shout it loud and clear. All of us together three times. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Arise. Make ways for me tonight. Make ways for my healing. Make ways for my family. Make ways for my husband. Make way for my family. Make way for my wife. Father, make ways for me. This month of May, Road must not be blocked against me. Make ways. Every road that is blocked. Make way for me. Make way for me. Make way for me. Make way for my business. Make way for my marriage. Make way for my career. Make way for my new house. Make way for my accommodation. Are you talking to the Lord today? Father, make way for me. Father, make way for me. I must not be stranded. Make way for me. You are a way maker. Make ways for me. 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 Make ways for my business. Make ways for my career. Make way for my life. Father, you are the way maker. Make way for me. Father, you are the way maker. Make ways for me. Father, you are the way maker. Make ways for me. Father, you are the way maker. Make ways for me. Tonight, make ways for me. And everything that concerns me. Mashata la da barriata. Eke pashada. Eparosia. Ekatasia. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Bring me out. Say, bring me out. Say, bring me out. Out of every situation. Out of every condition that I don't like, bring me out. Bring me out. Bring me out of sickness. Bring me out of poverty. Bring me out of failure. Father, bring me out of negative dreams. Bring me out. Bring me out from going back to village. Father, bring me out. Father, stretch forth your hands and bring me out of every condition, of every situation. That I don't like. No condition is permanent. Father, bring me out. Father, bring me out. Bring my children out. Bring my brother out. Bring my sister out. Bring my parent out. Father, bring me out tonight. Bring me out tonight. You are the Almighty. You have the power. Bring me out of every situation, of every challenge that I don't like. Oh God of heaven and the earth, bring me out tonight. Bring me out tonight. Bring me out. Bring me out. Bring me out. God is bringing somebody out. Somebody is coming out already. Somebody is coming out already. Somebody is coming out already. Father, bring me out. Father, bring me out. Father, draw me out. Bring me out of every situation, of every condition, of every sickness, of every poverty, of every lack. Of every scarcity. 
Father, bring me out of every abandoned project. Father, bring me out. Mashata la da barusha ele pariata. The Lord is bringing somebody out. The Lord is bringing your family out. He's bringing your children out. Out of that debt, the money you are owing, God is bringing you out. Borrowing from this one to pay this one, God is bringing you out. God is bringing you out. Mashata la rusha ele pariata. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, my father, let me be number one that we testify tonight. Say, my father, let my own be number one tonight. Say, my father, my case is urgent. My matter is urgent. Say, my father, I cannot wait further. Say, my father, I cannot spend another night in this pain, in this shame, in this affliction. Say, my father, my case is urgent. Attend to me first. Out of this crowd, my, faith, my case is urgent. I must not face the shame again. My father, this thing must be taken away tonight. Dosha. I must not sleep with my problem tonight. Father, my case is urgent. My case is urgent. That of my neighbor may not be urgent, but my own is not urgent. My case is urgent. I came to have an encounter with you. I came to meet you. My case is urgent. Is somebody pray? Is somebody pray? Is somebody pray? My case is urgent. My matter is urgent. Mashat alada barriata. Eke patosia. Abariata, Abarusha, Abariata, Eketanasha, Ibo Shada, Epariata, Abariata, Eketasha. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord will make way for you tonight. The Lord will make way for you tonight. The Lord will make way for your family. He will make way for your business. He will make way for your career. The Lord is making ways. The Lord is making ways. The Lord is making ways. He's making ways for you. He's making ways for your family. He's making way for your career. He's making way for your husband. He's making way for your wife. He's making way for your partner. He's making way for your children. You will not be stranded. You will not be put to shame. You will not be stranded. You will not be put to shame. The Lord is pulling you out. 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 While we were praying, I saw the hand of the Lord came down. And someone, you've been having something walking around your body. And you have been in need for a while. Right now as we speak, that hand has removed what is walking around your body. And you are free right now. As you are praying, I saw that hand. And it's removing things walking around your body. If you are the one, quickly step forward to the altar. Quickly, quickly. Don't let the enemy put it there. Something walking around your body. The Lord has removed it right now. Check yourself. And let that fellow step forward to the altar very quickly. Another person, lower back ache. Lower back, lower back. Like this. Have been under fire with pain, with affliction. When you tell people they can't believe it, it's as if they put the bed of fire, bed of charm around your lower, lower, lower waist. Right now, that lower waist is free right now. That is what God is doing. If you are the one, quickly step forward to the altar. Quickly, lower back pain, lower back pain. The Lord has taken care of it right now. Quickly step forward to the altar. Don't let the enemy put it back there. The Lord is doing the healing right now. That's what is working on right now. That's what is working on right now. The healing is taking place right now. The healing, the healing is taking place right now. Somebody with abdominal affliction, abdominal affliction, the Lord has healed you right now. Somebody with ulcer pain, radiating from the chest to the back, ulcer pain, it's been there for a while right now. Ulcer pain radiating from the chest to the back. That pain has been difficult over the year. You have suffered it. This thing cannot kill you. Right now, that ulcer pain is gone. I see the Lord pulling that arrow from your chest. And your chest is free. Your back is free. This pain also affect, it affected your shoulder blade. Shoulder blade at the back. Right now, that shoulder blade is uh, um, relieved right now. And you are free. Somebody with 
like arthritis, knee cap pain, knee cap pain. Right now, the Lord has taken care of it. You can stand on your feet. The Lord has healed you on your knee cap. Quickly step forward to the altar as well. The Lord is healing you right now. Knee cap affliction. The Lord has taken care of it. You will not be confined to wheelchair. You won't spend the rest of your life on the wheelchair. In the name of Jesus. You will not spend the rest of your life on the wheelchair. Knee cap pain is healed right now. The Lord has made you whole. The Lord is healing petty also, like we said. Somebody will saw truth. Very difficult to even swallow your saliva. So true. And every time you put food there, you feel this pain. So true. The Lord has healed you as well. Quickly step forward to the altar. So true. So true. So true. The Lord has healed you. People check yourself right now. Healing is taking place. Whether I mention it or I don't mention it, Jesus is healing people right now. He's healing people. He's healing people. Quickly check yourself. Now do what you could not do. That's right. Do what you could not do right now. If you feel that you could do what you could not do before now, quickly come and join the line of overcomers as well. The Lord has healed you. Don't let the enemy put it back there. Do what you could not do. Don't let the enemy put it back there. Back pain is gone. Affliction in the chest is gone. Affliction in the head is gone. Headache is gone. Pressure on your head. Pressure on your head. There is somebody. It's as if, it's as if you should just run now. There is so much pressure on your head. As if you want to run mad, arrow of insanity. I saw arrow of insanity leaving somebody right now. So much pressure on your head, you want to misbehave sometimes. In fact, sometimes this voice will come to you and say, Remove your dress and run out naked. That's the arrow of insanity they are testing your life with. Wherever you are, quickly rush to the altar. That arrow return back to sender. Whoever is sending that arrow will be the one to run mad. You will not run mad. So the Lord is healing the case of insanity, insanity, madness. The Lord is healing a, a, a depression that is turning to madness. Nothing excites you anymore. You are just depressed about everything. In fact, something is telling you, just kill yourself. Life is not worth living. The Lord is delivering somebody from suicidal tendency. Suicidal tendency, the Lord is healing you right now. People stand to your feet. Your own healing is here. Everybody check yourself now. The healing has taken place. He touched me. He touched me. And I know what joy that fills my soul. Because I know one thing. Something lift up your right hand to him. Happen. I just know now. I know he touched me. He made me Jesus touched me. Jesus is touching people tonight. Yeah. I know one joy to feel my soul because I know one thing something happened. I know it's all me. Jesus told me tonight. Somebody lift up your two hands. Jesus is touching people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I know. Oh, joy of my soul. Because something. Oh, 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 I know he touched me from me. You know, it's very interesting in the night that God is willing to heal everybody. You will not go back home with your own problem. Let everybody stand now and pray this prayer. Say, My Father. You have helped me in the past. Help me again. I must not go back home with my problem. 
I have come to meet you. I must not go back. On this night that you are solving everybody's problem, don't let me go back with my own. Don't let me go back with my own. Please don't let me go back with my own. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Take your seat. Those of you in the front, please stay there. I thought ministers are before them. Stay there. I still need to pray. Now, can we have some of this testimony and just categorize them for time's sake? Headache on one side, backache on one. Now, those of you that God heal you of ulcer pain, can you lift your hands? Can I see? Ulcer pain, chest pain, ulcer pain, ulcer pain, ulcer pain, ulcer pain, ulcer pain. Come here. Give Jesus Christ a clap of it. Ulcer pain. Come now. All of you, ulcer. Ulcer. Ulcer pain. Back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Come here. Back ache. Go heal your back. Go heal your back. Something walking around your body. Can I see your hand? Go remove something walking around your body. Come here. Something walking around the body. Um, what other case was there? Chest pain and waist pain. Where are they? Chest pain and waist pain. Still come to the ulcer. Where is the ulcer pain? Chest pain and Okay, what other case are this one? Knee. Knee pain, sore throat. Wow. So much. Somebody give a clap offering to Jesus. So I need each minister to undo each department. So what are you handling? Praise the Lord. I'm handling the objects in the body. Movement, the movement. Okay. Praise the Lord. This is uh, mommy. Her name is Wadam Mary. She said she has been having, has having objects that are walking around, especially in the right leg. For 13 years or something. 13 good years. But Somebody give a clap of print to Jesus. 13 good years. Yes. So the glory of God. That movement has stopped. Stop immediately after the prayer. 13 years something. Tell me, Mama. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As you are saying, somebody should jump. When I was jumping with all my heart, I was sweating. That's right. The moment I, I jump, I was jumping. The moment I stopped jumping, the thing left. What are you doing? I am jumping. What are you doing? I am jumping. Jump into your healing. I am jumping. Jump into your miracle. I am jumping. What are you doing? Jump into the new house. I am jump into the new house. I am jump into your dollar. I am jump into your new house. I am Jumping in your new car. I am Jumping in your healing. I am what are you doing? I am Shout hallelujah. How many people are jumping into new accommodation here? Beautiful accommodation. How many people are jumping into their own new house here? I'm going to be praying for that tonight. Are you ready to receive it? That one day they will call you landlord. Okay, you don't like that one. I said one day they will call you landlord. And if you are built before, you will see built again. Give Jesus Christ a clap of it. Please be seated. Hallelujah. 13 years, something moving around the body of the mama disappear immediately after jumping. Congratulations. This affliction will never return in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Congratulations. You can return back to your seat. Yes. Yes. That is sister, precious, precious, prosper. 
And uh, the, these cases, uh, the Holy Ghost is actually very particular because the two of them, they are having almost simil a similar case. It is the left leg. Her own, she said, it started since February, about four months now. But to the glory of God, at the start of that world, no more movement. February. Tell me how it has affected you. Which part of the leg? It's Left two, or two the two legs? legs. Okay. Now it's only one that is failing me. Okay. I'm surprised since how many weeks now I can't be able to go to church. But I surprised. Because of that leg. Because of that leg. Wow. Even the work that I work, I stop the work because of the leg. Wow. I surprised when I came here, I stepped here. When they started praising, I started praising, pray. When the music come to dance, I surprised when I was to dance, I, I, I had no feeling any pain like that. Did you call on that like my Give Jesus Christ a clap of praise. Wow. Couldn't go to church? Before I cannot stand by myself like this. Wow. But if I still sit down, I do not feel any pain. But if I stand um, to walk, I cannot walk proper. Wow. Normal. But now, I can go. Now walk like this. Walk. Make a walk. Oh, walk, 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 walk in in the land. Oh, walk, 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 walk in in the land. Oh, walk, 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 walk in in the land. Walk in in the light of God. Somebody walk, 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 walk in in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk in in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk in in the light. You know why these testimonies are so peculiar, the two of them? Number one, anything that affects your leg affects your progress. So I'm going to be praying for everybody that has not made progress in a while. You are just at the same level. The Lord is going to deliver you tonight. Hear this. He said Joseph was laid in iron. He was in prison. His leg was chained until the time that his word came. Every one of you that you have not made progress in a while, get ready. From tonight, that chain shall be broken. Yeah. Number two, she says something very peculiar. He said, every time if I sit down, I no go feel pain. But once I try to stand up, please, is somebody helping me to attend to that mama? I'm finding out. Once I try to stand up, the problem will start. Hear, hear me. Do you know there are some people, when they are working for people, there will not be problem. The time they, okay, let me do one business by the side. Somebody will carry away their money. It's as if something is telling them they can't stand on their own. Every business that have not been able to stand on his own, in the name of Jesus, there will be divine intervention. That business will be able to stand and prosper in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Affliction disappear forever. You can return. Yes. Yes. Is, are you ready? Praise the Lord. Faith Joshua healed of chest pain and waist pain for over one year. Over wow. Two years. Over two years. Ago. Over two years. Waist pain for two years. Tell me about it. For two years, you have had that pain yes. at the back there. Yes. What were the things you could not do? I cannot stand up very well. Can't stand up very well, but now you can stand up very well yes. after two years. What happened before that uh, pain came? Before the, before the Hague? What did take happen? I don't know what happened. You just discovered that you are having back yes. pain. Yeah, and chest pain. And chest pain. Yes. What, okay, what about chest pain? Both of them have disappeared. It's all the chest pain that remain. That remain. That one too will go now. Because once one is gone, the second one must go. So check the chest pain. Do what you could not do. That, what, do what you normally take do. We make you feel them. Do what you know you do before. You know if you do before. Sorry if I'm not speaking my pitting very well. I'm trying. Tell me something. It's over. 
Eh? It's finished. I love that one. Because that's the language of Jesus. <laughs> that's the language. No be thing where Jesus talk for cross. He said, it is finished. Uh, I believe I got it right. Yamuchu. Pafuka. Yakare. Everything finished. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. The healing is permanent. Congratulations. Yes. Praise Please. the Lord. Hallelujah. Justina Eto also came in with waist pain and uh, waist pain healed for two years. For two years, waist pain, yes. Announce all of them together so that I can just pray for them. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Mr. Joseph came here with three years knee cap pain as a result of accident. Mr. Joseph, where is Mr. Joseph? Mr. Joseph. From yes. Just face the camera. Yes. Came here with three years knee cap pain. As a result of an accident, but tonight, uh, every pain. The pain in the leg is gone. Is gone. Congratulations. Yes, the next person. I'm going to pray for all of them today. Sister Mexico, pain in the kneecap for two months and stomach pain for one year. Go and both of them are clear. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Yes. Sister Catherine, step forward. Five years of this. Sister Catherine. Five years Alice body Kato. pain. Five years body, body pain. pain. And general hotness in the body. That's right. All disappears. He said why she came to the uh, service tonight, she couldn't stand up while praise was going on. But after the prayer. Now Give Jesus Christ a praise. Congratulations. Yes, stand there. Joseph, uh, this is Taronda Jacob. Three more naked pain and back ache. All gone after the Give prayer. Jesus Christ a clap of praise. I know God must visit her daily. The way she was praying. You know, the way you undo it determines the way it turns out. Yes, that's also, right. Also, Joseph, Even beyond that, God is going to do something new. Joseph, yes. Joseph has a healed of meal pain for one year, sir. Give Jesus Christ a clap of friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Oyeman came in here with ulcer pain that lasted for one year after the prayer. Ulcer pain lasted one year, blasted. Yes. Six years, ulcer pain. Also Where is that fellow? For six years, you have had this ulcer. Yes, what were the things? How does how, how, how has it affected your life? How has it affected you? They have said me I cannot eat anything. They are crying. I cannot take pepper. So it's good six years I suffer for this uh, ulcer pain. I thank God to the glory of God and him, and he will not come back again. Now tell me how did you? Because I don't have fry something here now to test it and no pepper. So how do you know? That is no longer there. You couldn't feel the pain. I could not feel anything. You couldn't feel the pain. You normally feel that pain. I normally feel, but now I could not feel the pain. Where do, where, where do you normally feel the pain? I feel the pain on my chest in, in and, the my ch and your stomach. And right now as we speak, you can't feel it anymore. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. This healing is permanent. Yes, let's just stick. That's right. Okay. Okay. But now she says she's no more feeling it. Give Jesus Christ a clap of it. That's arrow of insanity return. Come here. I need to pray for you. That's arrow of insanity. That return back. Yes, that case was mentioned. Somebody give a clap of it to Jesus. If you arrow, go back to your. If you arrow, go back to your Savior. Hey! If you arrow, go back to your Hey! Don't watch it. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Hey. Go back to your center. Go back, go back, go back. Go back to your center. Hey. I say you are wrong. Go back to your center. 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 Pastor, look for just two or three drastic ones. Now, Sister Mary, tell me what has happened. What Mama just told me. Amen. Sister, Wait, come, come, come. I'm not done with you yet. Ayagba Precious. She's Ayagba Precious. Yes. When did this thing started? Last year. Last year. Tell me what you normally feel. I feel terrible headache, but as I was dancing today, I feel, I feel relieved. 
Whenever you feel that headache, what are the things that normally? I feel like sometimes I feel like running out. Sometimes I feel like getting my clothes out of my body and getting out. Sometimes I feel bad. I was just the angle of myself. That was, that was, that was arrow of insanity. Every arrow of the wicked one over your life, over your family. Let it return back to sender. Somebody say back to sender. Somebody say back to sender. 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 Go back to your center. Everybody stand to your feet. We need to deal with this. We need to deal with this in one minute. Lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my father. Every arrow of the wicked one against my life, against my children, against my family. Back to sender. 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 Back to Sanda, 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 back to Sanda. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I decree over your life that from today that arrow return back to Sanda, you will never have that symptom again. You will not run mad. The Holy Ghost has covered your nakedness. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations, sister. Yes. Drastic one. Three. She has been having top toe for the past. He has been having. Yes. Okay. Top toe for the past ten years. Ten years. Come here. Did you hear when God mentioned that case? People take your seat. Ten years. This sort of track. Tell me about it. I've been having this problem right from my secondary school and and it. And that was 10 years ago. It affected me seriously, most especially if I want to read. I'll be feeling pain, headache, and everything I do, I will feel confused. They removed it for me and in the hospital, like two times. You have, you, have, you have done procedure on the truth? Yes. Two times? The last one, I felt as if I'm to run mad because it, like, it, it affected my reasoning. But thank God, as from now, I'm not feeling you couldn't feel it anymore. What were the things you normally feel there? When I swallow, even my saliva, I feel the pain. And normally, I just normally feel as if something is running there. They're running there. And they have operated it two times. That tell you, look, hear this, everyone tonight. Anytime you have pain or have challenge, and you use drug, and you are not healed, it's no longer physical. What did I say? It has become spiritual. Like they will say in some places, they will say the hand of the world has entered it. The hand of the wicked one has entered it. Hear me? Every hand of the wicked one in your matter, that hand shall be cut off tonight. Because if you have operated something, or, do you know what they call operation? That is they remove what is causing the problem. And then he reappear again. That's why the Bible says, Affliction shall not rise up a second time. Not everything drug can heal. There are some things it will take the Holy Ghost to fireize it and terminate it and eliminate it. And now you couldn't feel anything anymore. Father, thank you for this healing. We return the glory to you. The healing is permanent in Jesus' name. And the arrow of insanity back to sender. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And what you have not been able to do, go and do it. Yes, give me two more. Sister Blessing, I've been feeling Just stay there. Pain. We'll pray for you. Yes. Sister Blessing, I've been feeling Zenith. I've been feeling so much in this morning. For as soon as we got there, God has healed. Give Jesus Christ a clap of praise. Congratulations. Congratulations. One more drastic one. Yes, why are these people standing here? Any, any other person here? What's the case of this? This case was just mentioned that uh, somebody feel like uh, life is not worth living, feeling pressure over his head. He said that is exactly it. And suicidal thoughts. Suicidal thoughts, yes. Why? Suicidal thoughts. He said that's exactly his case. Come but here. Now that the case was mentioned, he believed that 
That's your man. What happened? Well, actually, each time I think about my past, I just feel like taking one of these of my decisions. No, 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 no. Life is worth living. To take your life is to end in hell. Because you didn't give yourself life. Were you the one that decided, I will be born to the head? No. Eh? No. Uh -huh. So you can't take your life. The same punishment with somebody that kills somebody will receive is the same punishment that somebody that takes his life will receive. You understand? Yeah. So it is wrong to take one's life. It ends in hell. And whatever is the matter, the Lord has intervened. Amen. Very tall, handsome like this. Oh. With this powerful... But the lies are not, are not that. And so, if they see somebody like you in the U.S., it's an asset for basketball. Mm. <laughs> so, appreciate what you have. It's an application to have more in life. Life is worth living. Therefore, every spirit of suicide thought, your time is up. Check back to hell. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare over everyone in the front that the Lord has healed. Your healing is permanent. In the name of Jesus, the Lord move you to the next level. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. If you have documented your testimony, you can return back to your seat. Congratulations. I will see you later. You will allocate counseling to you and then you move out of it. Somebody give a clap offering to Jesus Christ. Give a clap offering to Jesus Christ. Give a clap offering to Jesus. Say tonight is my night. Say tonight is my night. Say tonight is my night. Psalm 23 verse 1 and verse 5. Psalm 23 verse 1 and verse 5. Aguan Rogo, Aguan Rogo, we are here. And every gate lift up your head. That the king of glory might come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong in battle. The Lord mighty in battle. Let the king of glory come in. And let every gate be lifted. This territory is declared for Christ. In the name of Jesus. So we bring you greetings. From the king of kings. From the lord of law. And from the ancient of days. Your life will never be the same again. The Lord sent me to you tonight. And do you know? Do you want to hear the message? The Lord said, All things are yours. The Lord said, All things are yours. He said, All things are yours. Psalm 23, verse 1 and verse 5. All our team, all our workers, all the members, everyone, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name and reward you for your diligent work in the name of Jesus. The Lord is my what? Shepherd. I shall not what? Read with me. The Lord is my what? I shall not what? Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Hear this. This is the word to somebody. What is not enough in your life now that is good will soon be more than enough. If your email can be better, the miracle will be faster. Whatever it is that is in your life that is not enough now will soon be more than enough. Can I hear another email? I remember when I wanted to buy my SIM, the SIM card, MTN SIM card. In those days, a kind of kill that we kill at where the calling road, somewhere in Oyo State. We keep from morning to night, and they sold the SIM 7,000. How much? Now, if they dash you SIM today, you may not say thank you. <laughs> I don't know how, how much are they selling sim now? Eh? 500. 200. And you can see it to buy anywhere. Every time I remember that story, when there is anything that I need to have and I don't have it that present, 
I console myself. What, I, what is not enough now will soon be more than enough. That's why you should not kill yourself. Before what will be enough we are, when it will arrive. Because what you are begging for today, very soon you will be dashing it out. I can't hear your amen. I can't hear your amen. If you see the fight people fought on those in those days to kill to buy, people will have gone to kill 5 a.m. to buy SIM card. And today, more than enough. I prophesy to somebody again in the name that is above every other name. Between tonight and tomorrow, what is not enough in your life now will soon be more than enough. Things are yours. How many things? 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 Hear this. If there is anything that you wish that you could have, God sent me to you tonight that you will have it more than enough. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. My leader, my choice, my director. And I shall not want anything that I want to have. The food you want to eat, you will soon have enough. The car you want to drive, you will soon have enough. The house you want to live in, you will soon have enough. The school you want to send your children, you will soon have enough capacity. The healing you want to have, you will soon have enough. Let's look at about five of them very quickly. Number one, the healing. All things are yours. Healing is yours. The Bible says healing is children's bread. Matthew chapter 25. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and 17. He said he heal all of them. Hear this. Healing is yours. Don't live your life in pain. That our precious fellow all the way from Ghana. The Lord just heal him. 13 years affliction. Say healing is mine. In fact, you know what Jesus called healing? He said it's children bread. How many parents are here that you know that children love bread? When you put, uh, when you put bread in the house, it finishes quickly. How many parents can bear me witness? Bread finishes quickly more than any other thing. Bread. Jesus called it children's bread. That is how it should be common to us. Let me prophesy on that very quickly. There is someone here. For the next 10 years of your life, you will not know what sickness looks like. Let me prophesy to another person. It's like these people didn't get, let me face this before. For the next 15 years of your life, you will not know pain again. Let me prophesy to everyone. For the next 20 years of your life, you will not know how headache feel. In the name of Jesus. Healing is yours. Number two, deliverance is yours. Say deliverance is mine. Say deliverance is mine. What is deliverance? Separation. Separation from affliction. Separation. Shall the prayer be separated? Shall the prayer be separated from the captive? Shall it be separated? There are some of us when we sleep, by the time we close our eyes, you find yourself in the village. Farming. The farm that your father left. What they are doing to you is to draw you back. That is called the spirit of backwardness. Some have passed through university, but they will still see themselves wearing in secondary school uniform. Is that the way life should look? And when you look at their life on a reality, what is happening on a reality is that the result that they have is a result of 1997 when they were in secondary school. Until you separate yourself from that captivity, life may not know forward movement. So he said, shall the prayer be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive deliver? He said, thus say the Lord, the prayer of the terrible shall be taken away. The captive of the mighty shall be delivered. Why are we content with him that contended with thee? 
the one that is making you to go backward, I will kill him. There are some battles you can't fight on your own. Your father tried it, they kill him. Your grandfather tried it, they kill him. Your, your relative tried it, they kill them. The power that are fighting you are greater than you. You need the greater than them to fight them. The power that are fighting you. Many of them, before you were born, they have been doing their evil. Many of them can tell the story of how they marry your mother. Many of them, they knew the day you came to their heart. Is that the people you want to fight? I no. You need something greater. You need someone greater to fight them. Say, my God will fight them. That's why God even won you. He said, this fight is not your fight. He said, I will fight for you. And you will hold your peace. Say the Lord will fight for me. Say over my father's house. Over my mother's side. Over my in-laws place. Oh God arise. And fight for me. Hear this. Do you know that. When God even stand up to fight for you. He can scatter them. Psalm 68 verse 1. Let God arise. And his enemy. What happened to them? One of our members. At the headquarters where you will come on Sunday, had estate, big estate in this land that they gave him to build for them. He used to be military and uh, he's retired. So they gave him big estate to, to build for them. But every time they want to start to walk, this water will come and scatter the whole estate. They were there for years. Years. He couldn't work. He has spent all his money. And nobody wants to go and buy land where everything is scattered. So it was not working. So he came to church and the word came. That day we pray some dangerous prayer from Psalm 109. Prayer like, oh God, let his children be vagabond. Oh God, let him die before the, the means of his day. Everyone that will not let me move on. Let this all kind of let these children be feeding from dustbin. I'm not the one that said it. It's inside the psalm. The best incantation is inside the scripture. So we finish. And then the person behind this matter was going to the his secret his, his court meeting. He wore his court dress. And then sat down in his bench at the owner's corner. As they were going, his driver only got no water enter his head. The driver went to go and face one way and face a tipper coming. That was how he, the man reported in hell. The, and the driver didn't die. Immediately that happened. That estate now. I was there the other day. When they said uh, the VP, the vice president was coming and know that they were doing something. That estate now, they are, they are, they, it's almost finished. People have moved inside. Anything that is blocking your breakthrough, the Almighty God will flush it away now. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be better. The miracle will be faster. The miracle will be faster. The miracle will be faster. It is inside that estate that, that what, the school of the church is coming up now. All the drawing, everything is ready. Because when God gives you breakthrough, when God delivers you, it's for his kingdom to be lifted. Number three, do you want to hear number three? When the, on the table, all things are yours. Financial prosperity is yours. Say it's mine. Say it's mine. Say it's mine. Financial prosperity is your. You should not be begging for money. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. It is the Lord that giveth thee power to get wealth. Look, sweating does not bring wealth. It is God that gives you power to get wealth. Have you noticed that some people, until they finish spending one money, they don't get another? You don't believe it? Uh, it happens. Oh. It happens. 
that until you finish one particular money you have in the hand, you don't receive another one. The meaning of that is called spirit of poverty. It is when money meets money, the riches started. And then, when money now meets money, and it continues as a system, you enter into wealth. A rich man can be broke. A wealthy man cannot be broke. Because there is something that is replenishing. You know why people are poor? You, the way you are, the things you are spending money on, they are very many. School fees, food, house rent, this one, that one. And the way your money is coming in is very narrow. It's only one place that the money is coming in. And you are spending money in ten ways. It is called the spirit of poverty. Say, I reject it. Say, I reject it. Say, I reject it. Say, I reject it. However, it's not about you now starting many businesses. It is what God, it's, it's a power, it's spiritual. Act 1.8. And you shall receive power. Kingdom wealth is not about accumulation. It's about distribution. That's what we are dealing with this morning. That's why you see some people and say, I tried this business. I tried this business. I tried to scatter my business here and there and all that. And yet, it's the same thing. It's, look here. Money is spiritual. That's why when you ask somebody that doesn't know God, how can I make money in Nigeria? You say, go and do money ritual. <laughs> there is a spirit about money. However, I know that spirit. It is called the spirit of the living God. When you have it, money will be the one chasing you. You are not chasing money. Because if you, if you chase money, you will mourn. If you chase money, you will mourn. You can't catch it. It's a speedy machine. You can't catch it. I can tell you that. Oh, I started chasing it in 1997 as a young boy went to the mining field. You know what it means for a young person to go to the mining field and with man entering about 150 feet. Damn word. That when the pit collapse, they don't bother to bring anybody out. You are just buried there. You are just buried there. You are just buried there. Nobody bother to come to, to bring you out. I can show you some scar of what a rock did to me in mining feet. And after nine months of being in mining feet, then if I slap you with my hand, it will appear. Because we use jigger. The hand was like a rock. You know what they call jigger? Do you know what it takes to dig for 100 feet, 150 feet? You will not suffer. Not only offer, you won't suffer. You won't suffer, Ilori. Go suffer, nigga. Ilori. And after nine months, I got 3,000 naira. Of course, 3,000 naira of 1997. You can compare both. Beside me, you see people having 5 million, 10 million. There was one guy they called Benson. But here it is. This is where I'm going. For those of you that are pursuing money. You, you know this benzene. By the time you get 10 million or 20 million, that was not the first time. He will come to town. Have procedure, blow it. But on that two months, he's back in the mining field. We have those of them liberal like that. We live in a lotto, in a ghetto. And when I could not get that one, I would do it in the day. Then in the night, sell cigarettes and all kind of things just to support. I sold water. Everything end in emptiness. But suddenly, this man of cavalry came and turned everything around. I'm telling you, it is in vain for a man to rise up early. And sleep late and eat the bread of sorrow. 
There are things we have tried. It didn't work. Don't chase money. Chase Jesus. I'll be telling you more about that tomorrow. Number what now? Number four. Second to the last one. Number what? Victory. Victory. Somebody say victory. Somebody say victory. Do you know that from tonight, you will never lose battle again? I'm telling you. You never lose battle again from tonight. You will never lose battle again. Whether in the dream, in the day, anywhere. Say the Lord will give me victory. First John chapter 5 verse 4. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Victory is yours. But life is meant for battle. But God can give you victory always. And finally, all things are yours. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God shall supply. How many? All my needs. How? According to his riches. Not your salary scale. In Christ Jesus. Everything. Marriage need. God will supply it. It's not good for a man to be alone. I will give him help me. God will supply it. And make your marriage to last. Every good thing that you need. Is going to happen. Between today and tomorrow. But every wise person knows that. Hear this. Every wise person knows that. Nothing goes for nothing in this world. And I tell you a short story. And then I pray for you tonight. And you will receive all things. There was a rich man. The story of a rich man. And he had only one son. This man was so rich that he has houses. He has cars. He has everything. And then one day came he was sick. And that sickness was going to be terminal. He was going to die. And in his will, he wrote his will and said, all my estate, everything, I, I, everything, I give it to, and this man also has a staff, he has a slave, he has a servant, who was serving him even before his son was born. And he said, now he was about to die. He said, now... All my estate, all my cars, all my money, all my dollars, all my pastorate, everything, I write the will. I give it to this my slave, this my servant. And the lawyer wondered, said, what is this man trying to do? Has something entered his head? And he said, for my son, he should just take only one thing out of everything I have. But every other thing should be given to my slave. My son should just take one thing. But every other thing should be given to the slave. The son wept. Dad, how can you do this? With everything, when you are my father, you are my this and all that. He said that's the decision. And the man died. You know, many people like to be around the loved one when they're about to die because the words of the dying man is very, very serious. So the man died, the son web did everything. Now the slave was rejoicing. Was rejoicing. And they just pick anything, whether it's one house or one car, one thing. That's what you have to pay. And then the son web did everything. And he consulted the elders. In the multitude of counseling, there is safety. Life is too complicated to be lived by common sense. Common sense will always produce common result. You need high level sense. And the boy consulted, so they have agreed the day. The lawyer will come and read the will, and the boy will pay. And that day came. The D day. Somebody said the D day. Somebody said the D day. Somebody said the D day. Hear this. Your decision in life will determine your destiny. Where you are today is as a result of your decision yesterday. Where you will be tomorrow will be by your decision. So on that day, they said, everybody gathered, all the elder could not help him. They said, Look, uh, we don't know why your father, but this is it. And the lawyer, they have to follow the will. So the slave was already rejoicing. He has already planned, did everything. And then they said, son, you are the one we are waiting for. Choose what you want out of all this estate of your father. 
Some people have advised and say, okay, maybe you, uh, you know, the expensive house, um, the one in Maitama, the one in Asokoro, they just, just look for one of the expensive something. And then the son stood up and thanked the elders and thanked everybody. He said, I'm responsible for the outcome of my life. He said, that's the lesson. He said, well, whatever I'm going to be, I am to be blamed. He said, I congratulate the slave that my father will everything to. And I have only one thing to choose. Everybody was looking and they pity him. And the boy looked up and down and said, I've thought about it. And I want to honor my father in his death. Because even if I appeal, he has written his will. So I honor him in his will. I will only abide with one thing. I'm not pleading to choose two things. One thing I will choose. One thing I will choose. I don't need any other thing. So you look at the other and they were looking at him. Some of them were cracking their brain. Maybe you choose the Rose Roy. At least by the time he said that one. Because each Rose Roy now, you can get a Rose Roy of uh, 300 million or 400. So if he said that one, at least he can start a business. He look up and down and he said, I choose this. And everybody was looking and said, what do you mean this? He said, I choose this. What did you choose? He said, I choose this. What is it, this? What is it? He said, this. Who is this? He said, I choose the slave. I choose the slave. I choose the slave. Whoever owned the slave, own everything that the slave owned. Whoever owned the slave, owns everything that what? That the slave owns. There is one choice you can make in life that can make you to have everything. What shall be the reward of a man that gained the whole world and lose his soul? The only one choice that is important in life is to choose Jesus. God has willed everything to Jesus. Whoever chooses Jesus has everything. It is foolishness to be shameful of what is gainful. It is foolishness to be shameful of what is gainful. People that reject Jesus, they don't know what they are rejecting. When you choose Jesus, you will have everything I've mentioned and many more. Without Jesus, you don't have anything. You know why? Jesus created the entire world. He created everything. Whoever chooses Jesus has everything. 